Well, it's the end of January in Connecticut. It's 12 degrees outside, so we're not running the truck. This is a great time to get the blue buzzard into the shop and get some winter maintenance done, annual maintenance. I can't tell you the importance of maintenance on a vehicle. Uh, so it's in the shop, the wheels are off, the body is off, it's stripped down to the roll cage and the motor, and we're gonna spend some time working on the suspension and the axles, which need to be just revisit it to make sure everything is where it needs to be. So what we've done is, as I said in, in previous videos, this is a Clark axle, 25 ton. And at the outside of it, on the ends, this one's been removed already, but over here you can see the planetary, which is this outer section here, the planetary, is a gillion and what we're going to do is jerk all four axles out and go through them and rebuild them so we've already taken the front sections off opened them up and this is kind of what they look like inside as you can see a lot of grease which is good but no water which is bad and I'll take you over here to the workbench and I'll show you exactly what we have. The Gillian has what's called a planetary system. And what that means is there's a gear in the center, which is this one here called a sun gear. This over here is the planetary, which has three gears on it. And over here is the ring gear. So what happens is the planetary sits inside the ring gear, drives the ring gear around at a reduced ratio as the sun gear sits in the center of it. Through the center, and let me get back over here, in this housing, which turns left and right, is the drag link and the tie rod end, but this housing will turn left and right. So mounted inside it, is like a universal joint, but it's not like the universal joint that you would see on an axle or a drive shaft. Let's see if I can find one over here. Okay, so on a drive shaft back in here, you'll have a universal. Or it'll look something like this one up here coming out of the back of the transmission. This is an internal, and what happens is these balls that you see here will sit into these sockets and that is how the universal works. There's a couple of gears, that, but it goes from this one, this one over here, and to this one over here, and that's how the turning works. Now, there's some issues we have to deal with that are worn on this setup that we have here. You'll notice how nice and smooth this is over here, and this one, if you look has been pitted i'll get in real close maybe you can see it but you can see how that's been pitted that's not good so we're going to have to get something to handle that also the race in here needs to be replaced there's some damaged components over here that have to be replaced so that's what we're doing in the shop we're going to take all four wheels apart open them up look at the bearings check everything and get it back to snuff so we're ready to run next season starting in april we'll be ready to go as i said we've got this one over here that hasn't been cleaned yet and again there's issues on every one of them that have to be, but these are wear components. You got to understand it. When you operate a truck like this or any vehicle, there's going to be wear and tear and maintenance that has to be taken care of. So while it's in the shop here, I'll step back so we can get another view. Um, a couple of things we got to do. I think I told you that this last year we went and rebuilt these King coilovers and. This one in the back over here leaks pretty bad, so we're gonna send that out to King in California 
and have that taken care of. We're also working on this idler pulley, which is going to mount just on these belts below the alternator because they got a lot of slack in those belts and a tensioner will certainly help. So we've got this pulley we're working on. There's the uh, fuel pump we're taking care of. We're going to work on the rear steer, which is in there also. And, you know, general tune-up, maintenance, check everything. I'm just trying to give you as much of a view of the truck as I can because with the body off you can really see a lot of the components and how the truck is set up and exposed. I'll walk around a little bit more here. Again, I'm not a photographer or a videographer or whatever they're called, but I'm trying to give you as much of a view because you don't really get to see a truck stripped down with the body off it, especially when it's in maintenance. But maintenance is important. You know, when people come out and they want to drive the truck, they don't want to know about this isn't working or that's not working. They want to jump in a truck, learn how to drive it, and have some fun. So that's my video, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.